Hey everybody, Clarence Eckerson here from Street Films. As you know, we've done a lot of documentation over the years on Snack Down. We've even done a comic strip about it. So we're serious here about Snack Down. We love the Snack Down. And yesterday we got a really nice snowfall here in New York City. So in anticipation of that, I decided to come on out in my neighborhood the day before the snow and take some before footage of some of these intersections to show you what they look like without the snow. What you'll find in most of these intersections is that we can take back a lot of space for the pedestrians. Three feet, five feet, in some cases eight to 10 feet where people can more easily and safely cross the street if they had a wider sidewalk that went out into the intersections via a neck down. Wow, look at this one. It's a serious block. It's a solid square of snack down. That's hard to beat, and that's gonna be there for weeks if the temperature doesn't rise. And you gotta be absolutely stunned by the height on some of these. This one's going about three and a half feet. Then we have the distance, which is approaching about 12 feet from the curb. As you can see, I'm pointing out here, it's a very typical snack down. It's been about 24 hours since it stopped snowing. And you can see there where the rounded curve is. That's where cars are taking that turn. There are no tire grooves within the solid eight and a half feet of that white snow. So cars aren't using that space. You're gonna see this car coming right now. It's gonna make this turn very carefully and slowly. Now, why can't a driver be expected to do that on every occasion, not just on days that there's snow? There are now individual Twitter accounts dedicated to Snackdown. Calgary has an amazing Snackdown site and they're doing great documentation. But you're seeing it in Pittsburgh, in Halifax, in Toronto, in New York City, and even in Los Angeles. And so I fully encourage citizens to keep going out there, taking photos, and letting your city elected officials know that we can make our streets a lot safer than they are. And it's a fun way to do it, and it's a very visual way to make your argument.